Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Martin channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome, but if you're back, welcome back. I have a great video for you today. We are gonna be talking about some most up-to-date EV news. And before I jump down into this, um, I would like to apologize. I am getting a little bit sick, so I might sound a little bit nasally, but uh, before we get down into it, if you can give me that thumbs up, the like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit notification bell, hit all so you can get all my videos. But we are gonna be talking about three very big stocks today. First one, Lucid Motors. Second one is the upcoming Rivian IPO. Um, Tesla does have a little bit of a, a quarrel with a Rivian. We'll be talking about that and touch on that today. And in addition to this, we are going to be talking about the Polestar. Um, why and what's going on with the Polestar? It's an EV startup company. It's already making vehicles out there, but it is doing a reverse merger uh, through a SPAC company called GGPI. So we'll talk about all three of these, but I think you're going to get a lot out of this video. So let's get down into it. So first, I would like to talk to you about Lucid Motors. Um, this stock, in my opinion, is still at a very good buy range. We did have a lot of good catalysts last month in September. Um, we had those reservations uh, just announced. There are over 13,000 reservations. So Lucid as a brand is starting to come out there. And uh, more and more people are realizing and seeing what this company is and what it can do. I have been talking to a lot of my friends at work, and they're actually not too familiar with Lucid, uh, Lucid Motor Company. So I think that um, there's a lot of people that are in the same boat. And I think as the vehicle will be delivered out there and word of mouth will be spread, I think this company will uh, start getting a lot more bigger potential and a lot bigger movement in its stock as well. So we do have that great reservation number, 13,000 reservations um, of the Lucid Air. Uh, next year in the year 2022, Lucid Motors will be producing 20,000 of its Lucid Air vehicles. So more than half of these are already accounted for. And this is great news for this company and for the stock. Last month, they also got the big news um, for the EPA. They did have the longest range that made EV history and automobile history that the Lucid Air Dream Edition can get up to 520 miles on a single charge, um, which is an incredible amount. It's actually 115 more miles than the longest uh, Tesla version out there, the Tesla Model S long range version, uh, which gets about 405 miles. And it used to be actually the leader and held the record for the longest um, miles driven on a single charge of battery life. So, but big things to come uh, with Lucid Motors. We did have that uh, open house from Lucid Motor Company that um, did show all the deliveries and the first production vehicle moving out there. Um, so this is uh, quite a bit of a big news and a big pop up. And this is the reason why this stock was all the way up at about $27 on September 30th. Um, you can see in the past five days, we have had a sell off about 10% in this stock. Um, just today alone, we have uh, gained a little bit of that. We gained about 1.1% today. We ended the day at $24.29, and we did start out the day at $23.48. So we did have that a little bit of push up, but I would say that we are pretty much trading sideways. We have found our base, in my opinion, the stabilization point above that $24 mark. Uh, we have seen a little bit uh, less than that $24 mark, $23 mark, I think is a very good buy point um, at on this stock LCID. So if you can get it below $23, I think it's still a good buy point. If you can get this stock under $20, it's an amazing buy point in my opinion. Um, just to show you in the past one month, we are still up 22% for the past month, but um, the month of September has been very, very good for Lucid Motor stock. And let me just show you why. So we have had that sell-off, the pipe uh, investor sell-off uh, did expire on September 1st. So the pipe investors did uh, take some profits. They bought the stock at $15. They sold it uh, about around $20, made $5 a share. And as we could see on September 1st, this stock went down, according to this, about $17.80. Actually, pre-market hours, it went down a little bit below $16. But using these numbers right here from September 1st all the way up to about September 21st, we went up 
50.7% in this stock. And since that high that we had, we had some sell off about 9.4%. So we are still up, um, even still up for the past six months, we are up about 6.4% in the past six months. I do suspect that from here on out, we will have a lot of upward mo mobility and upward pressure. Um, which will be great for the stock. We do have two very big days coming up. Uh, I did want you to put that on your calendar. October 8th is that um, warrants will be, uh, the redemption will be expiring. So if you have any warrants, LCIDW, uh, make sure it has that W, these are warrants. You will need to either uh, sell them off or you will need to contact your broker to convert these to shares of Lucid Motor. If you do nothing, I did want to warn you that um, these will be liquidated, that they will be worth pretty much nothing. Um, so remember to get that done as soon as possible if you haven't already. Um, second big date, which is coming up very shortly, it is October 12th, which is about six days from now. Um, Lucid will be premiering its Dream Drive autonomous driving, which is going to show its technology out there. I have heard some buzz out there that it will be something like we've never seen before. So I'm definitely excited to see what this is going to be about. As you know, Tesla has the best autonomous driving out there, again, in my own opinion. Um, but I do think that uh, Lucid it has a good chance uh, to show us something new. So we'll definitely keep you updated on that. Again, in my own opinion, I do think that this stock can hit about $30, $35 by the end of this year. But as we can see in the next about one year, according to Wallet Investor, we will have that potential to hit $42 in about one year from now. Five years from now, a very nice increase at $102 in this stock again using the wallet investor future value predictions using technical analysis they also look at past trading in the past trading weeks so it does look forward this is not 100 percent accurate but at least it gives us a little bit of a gauge to see how lucid motor stock does i would now like to transition and talk to you about rivion so rivion i do think that it is going to be a great company out there it is going to be coming out on an ipo uh, very shortly it should be at the end of this month or it should be at the beginning of November, but I will keep you posted. But Rivian does suspect that it will try to get an IPO on the stock market with a valuation of about $80 billion. And I just did find this uh, article from Fox Business. The title of it is Elon Musk laughs at Rivian's autonomous driving feature, and he is giggling at its rival's expense. Basically, uh, Rivian right now is coming out there and showing that they have the first pickup truck, the first truck electric vehicle out there. Um, so this is great news for the company because it has beat a lot of the other uh, truck companies that are coming out there like Tesla. I remember Tesla is going to have its cyber truck coming out. Um, General Motors is also have two trucks in the pipeline. I believe the Hummer and also its Silverado pickup truck. Um, we also have Ford coming out there with its uh, Ford F-150, the Lightning. So again, we have Rivian now coming out and selling their vehicles. They did start selling their vehicles this month. Um, but as you can see, I think that uh, Tesla is, is feeling some pressure, um, in my opinion, again. But um, it looks like that Elon Musk is getting a little bit of a laugh um, regarding the autonomous driving capability of Rivian. So um, according to this, uh, Rivian did file paperwork for its IPO um, in regards to its autonomous driving capabilities. They did mention there um, that it did not, um, according to this article, the filing did not uh, directly connect the dots, but it appears that they are referring to Rivian's Driver Plus feature, which is being developed as a level three autonomous driving system with hands-free capability. So just to let you know, a level three autonomous driving is that the car can actually perform itself uh, pretty much all aspects of the driving. However, the driver must be ready to take control at any time. This is actually what Tesla has right now. So Tesla has the level three autonomous driving. It is the best autonomous driving that is on the market right now. Again, in my opinion, that Tesla is the best driving autonomous out there. We will see Lucid Motors in the next few uh, week and actually one week on October 12th, we will see uh, what Lucid Motor has. Um, but I think Rivian's uh, level three, if it is level three, I mean, it's just at par, uh, exact same as Tesla's. So, but we'll definitely have to see what happens 
But Elon Musk did also put one little bit of a jive uh, on this as well um, because he did mention that um, Musk did tweet in August that he doesn't want to be unreasonable, but maybe Rivian should deliver at least one vehicle per billion dollars of evaluation before its IPO. So again, he is kind of poking fun at Rivian. Rivian is backed by Amazon. Um, I did make a video out there yesterday. Uh, if you can go back and watch that, a very good video. But uh, Rivian does have a approximate evaluation that it is trying to get um, when it trades on the IPO and the NASDAQ at $80 billion, which would make it worth about the same, if not a little bit more than General Motors out there right now. But it would only be about one-tenth of the market cap of Tesla right now. So Tesla's market cap is about $740 billion. So this would be about one-tenth of that. But you can see that uh, Elon Musk is, um, I believe, a little bit frustrated with uh, Rivian. But uh, Rivian, I think, is uh, a good company. I think it's going to do great out there. I love its vehicle. Um, Rivian, just to let you know, it does have about 48,000 pre-orders of its truck, the R1T pickup truck and the uh, R1S, the SUV. And uh, they are going to be coming out th with these vehicles very, very shortly. Um, they will also be producing the electric delivery vans for Amazon. They Amazon has already purchased about 100,000 of these. They have reserved them, not purchased them. But they do have until the year 2030 to deliver these uh, electric vehicle vans. So again, we'll definitely keep you updated. But I did thought that I would share this information with you as I am very bullish on Rivian and I will definitely keep you updated. Now I did want to transition to the third EV stock that we will be talking about and this is going to be Polestar. So Polestar, if you're not familiar, with this. I have covered it a few times, but Polestar is a, an electric vehicle company that is a, a branch of Volvo. Um, it is co-owned by Volvo and a company from China called Geely. They do currently have two versions out there, the Polestar 1, which is actually a hybrid. The Polestar 2 is an all-electric vehicle. Polestar 3 will be coming uh, very shortly in the year 2023. And it will be produced actually in the United States. It will be its first SUV. The first Polestar 1 and 2 are actually made through China, through a Chinese facility there. But um, this company is already making vehicles out there right now. And I did want to share this article from Investor Place with you titled Polestar, the SPAC merger makes girls gold item stock a hot item. So um, I did talk about Polestar in the past. Um, we did first hear about this from Bloomberg that Polestar will be merging with GGPI, which is Girls Gold High M. It's going to be a reverse merger, just like CCIV and Lucid Motors was. But the big difference is that the CCIV stock went up from about $10 all the way up to $65 in just a matter of weeks. Um, however, this um, since this was announced, GGPI hasn't really moved too much. And I did want to talk about this. Why? So in this deal, it, this uh, company will be valued about $20 billion, which is about half of that of Lucid Motors right now. It will also have those pipe investors, which are giving about $250 million. And it will be also getting about $800 million from Gore's Gold Iron. But their stock has not really moved too much. It has been uh, around $9.70 uh, back in July 1st. Um, and now the highest that it's ever gone is $10.69 when the merger uh, became announced. So right now this stock is not doing too good. Um, I did think that there would be a lot more people um, that would be more interested in this stock because this is a good EV company. They already have vehicles out there. So, um, but, uh, you know, this article does mention um, to help you decide whether the $10 stock could someday turn into a $20 or $30 stock. Let's dive in the details of the target company, which is going to be Polestar. Uh, but Polestar has um, is pretty transparent as a company, and it is expecting to sell about 290 vehicles by the year 2025, which is actually very, very similar to Lucid Motors. Um, now, they are currently producing about 10,000 vehicles every year. They did make that last year. They also already have some revenue out there. So, um, you know, they are expecting they will have a revenue of about $1.6 billion. When we do compare this to Lucid Motors, 
uh, Lucid Motors does have the projection that it will make about $2.2 billion in the next year, in the year 2022. So, but why hasn't this stock moved? Well, we really haven't had that big of a investor interest in this. Let me just show you, um, just in the past one day, we pretty much didn't make any moves in the past one week. We are actually down 1.36%. We did have that high of about $10.28. But we're pretty much, I mean, just trading sideways, if not just, you know, kind of losing money, decreasing our money in this. Now, whenever it did first become the, you know, the reverse merger did become announced, this stock did pop up, um, you know, let me see, about 4.7%. It did go up from $9.98 to $10.45. So again, I did expect that more would come out of this. I still do think that this is a good company to hold long term, but it looks like if retail investors in Wall Street, it looks like uh, they're not really getting too interested in this. According to Wallet Investor, I did run some um, projections on this. Does, this does, again, look at the future values with the technical analysis based on the past trading days. Now, GGPI has just very shortly announced that it will be merging with Polestar. So we don't have a lot of data on this, but right now it did in the day at $10.14. It is projecting according to the way it has been trading right now. In one year, it will be about $11 and in about five years, about $13.60. So what are some things that um, could really elevate this stock? Um, I do think that we just need to get um, more investors interested in this. Will it happen? I'm really not sure. It doesn't look like it right now. Um, but the company itself already has a vehicle out there. It looks really nice. And it looks like that um, they do definitely have um, a lot of potential out there as a EV company. Um, now, they are no Tesla. Their, their range is not as good as Tesla. Their speed, their 0 to 60, their performance is not as good as Tesla's, I believe, on one single charge. Uh, of battery, you can go about 233 miles. Zero to 60 is about 4.9 seconds. Um, and we are talking about the, the Pulsar Model 2. Um, so, I mean, definitely we will see what this stock uh, has to hold. But I did want to just update you on that. But I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please give me that thumbs up if you have liked this. And also, if you're new to the channel, I would love to welcome you to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you join the community. Hit that notification bell so you can get all my videos. Greatly appreciate it. And please continue to share this video with your family, your friends, your coworkers, that next door neighbor. I'd greatly appreciate it. And thank you so much for all your support and for watching. And I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Thank you. Down below, if you would like to help out the channel, I put two links. One's for Weeble. If you open an account, deposit $100, you get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. If you deposit $100 into Coinbase, you get $10 of cryptocurrency and trading. Thank you for supporting the channel.